on the back of weak earnings seasons with some of the uh, world's largest retailers. A new trend is emerging as companies try to fight back against ruthless competition online. We sent Carolyn out for some retail therapy fitting of the digital age. You don't have to go far in London's high-end shopping districts to see some gaps in this season's lineup. Occupancy rates by large cap retailers have shrunk in recent years. In part, this is due to the fact that many are looking to compete against e-tailers like Amazon. That whole entire retail environment is being rethought right now. Amazon can usually undercut any brick and mortar retailers. But then there's also the experience. If the experience is fun, if it's interesting, if you need it right now, you, you know, you got, want to buy a dress or a suit for a party tonight, you've actually got to go. You've actually got to physically go to a store. Now, this London company is trying to stem losses in the retail environment by giving the retail experience a digital makeover. Welcome to Flux, a new retail experience store designed to pair up the interactivity of online retail with experiences only possible in a physical store. The Flux Lounge is, is an ability to showcase to corporations and retailers what innovation means for their business and how they can accelerate their business processes by utilizing the latest technology. The store features everything from video walls and holographics to virtual dressing rooms that can change outfits in a flash. Now you can see that you can put on the flashings, you can try them out. And what you can also do here is take a photo of the um, clothes that are on you. You can email them to your Facebook page or your Twitter page, get your friends to say, actually, that looks awful or that looks great. Um, and then you get feedback instantaneously while you're at the fashion shop. And the system has different capabilities for different retailers. From fashion to homeware, the company says it's all about generating customer involvement. If you read something, you retain 10% two weeks later. But if you play, share, or do something, you retain 70 to 90% two weeks later. So when you're actually mixing messages around a retail environment with that sort of interaction and technology, it means you recall things much better. And whilst the argument for spending big in an industry that prides itself on penny pinching isn't without its challenges, adoption from retailers is surging. Just last week, the operator of London's Regent Street announced a plan that will see over a hundred of its premium stores come together to offer customers a unique experience via their smartphone. What the app will deliver to you from the Regent Street beacon is information about the stores that interest you. It could be the opening hours, it could be what's special in the store that this week, it could be pricing. Well, we've got 80% of the stores signed up so far, which is pretty good at this stage. This is the first beacon system in Europe in a high street. And it's a trend that looks set to grow. A new category of startups is emerging to help retailers, both small and large, take advantage of platforms to transition their bricks and mortar stores into new digital environments. If traditional retailers don't adapt, they're gonna fail. You know, latest technology, today we are all uber connected. We're all using different technologies. We have multiple devices that connect to the internet. And if you're not connected to that world, that virtual world, then you're gonna fail. 